Hello and welcome to my channel. Today is an update of the bounce staff I made uh, quite a few videos ago uh, for a gentleman and I had uh, some problems with the pivot. I had to spend a lot of time getting those pivots down to the right size. I wouldn't say the problems, it just uh, after I finished the bounce staff I had to do quite a lot of work on those pivots. Uh, following that, I staked the uh, balance onto the balance staff and realized that the balance itself was warped. So I had to true the balance to flat. I made a video about that, as you saw a couple days ago, on how to true a balance to flat. So I did that job. And then uh, I noticed that the uh, impulse jewel on the uh, roller table uh, was loose and there was leftover shellac on there from many, many years ago. So I I just chip the shellac off using a very small uh, screwdriver. You just sort of go to the edge of the shellac and then nudge it and then it chips it off. And then I uh, heated up the shellac as I've shown you in another video using my, uh, my Velociraptor grabber. I grabbed the roller table, uh, put another piece of shellac on there, used my uh, spirit lamp and, and melted that shellac over the jewel and now the jewel is solid. Then I got out my staking set, it's right over there, and I and I uh, put the uh, balance with staff on the staking set, um, and I had to use a stub or whatever you call them, a stump. Actually, uh, let me see if I can reach back and grab one. I used I used this stump in particular. Let me put that right under there for a sec. There's the stump that I used, um, and I uh, put that put the balance. On the, on the staking set with this stump, so I had uh, hairspring down. And then I took the uh, roller table that I had um, fixed the impulse jewel on and I staked that on at 90 degrees to the arms. So the impulse jewel's here, the arms are like that. So it's 90 degrees to the arms. Then I went about, uh, then I put the uh, safety roller on too. It was a very small roller that fit on top that I, I cut the staking or cut the uh, balance staff for that little edge and I showed you that in a previous video, probably video one or two for this uh, particular job. Um, and after I, and I had to make sure that that, that safety uh, roller on the bottom, the little U part of it was absolutely lined up um, with the uh, jewel and with the, you know, the impulse jewel that's at 90 degrees to the arm. So a lot of hand movement going on here. <laughs> Anyway, I did that, and then uh, I went to put the balance spring on, so I laid the balance over the, uh, the movement and looked at where the jewel was and the pallet fork and the, uh, and the escapement and made sure they were all lined up, and then I eyeballed where, that, where, that, uh, where the, uh, the stud for the hairspring would be, and uh, I made a, a mental note of where that was in the balance. It was kind of between a screw, and I made a previous mark I saw on there, too, it was kind of between the two. Then I went about uh, putting the, I pressed the hairspring back on. Uh, you can usually press that on and not hammer it down. So I pressed that on with a stake. Um, and I used the, uh, just a, one of these things, jobby doohickeys. I used one of these there and put that down. And I pressed that on with a stake. And, um, and then I noticed that the hairspring itself was bent downward. So the stud the overcoil came over, went around, and then it was bent downward a little bit. And the hairspring itself was not riding between the regulator arms, two arms that go down. So that's a big, big problem there. So I thought, okay, how the heck do I fix that? Um, so I uh, ended up bending the, uh, the hairspring just a little bit. I took two tweezers and I nudged it up, uh, made sure that it was aligned. And then I was able, I used my microscope and I was able to, to put that, uh, stud inside the uh, the balance cock. That was a tough job. I tell you, I was going to throw the whole lot at one point. So I did it, I got it on, and then uh, and I tightened the screw, and then I moved the whole thing out of the microscope. And I put it on top of a balance tack, and then I tightened the screw again to make sure it was nice and tight. Uh, and then I assembled it back, and wound it up, and as you can see, it's actually running super well. Now this watch has another problem with it and I don't have the jewel for it, but the, the jewel has two cracks on both sides. Um, it's still round, the jewel's not offset, but there's two cracks on both sides, so that will have to be replaced at some point in time. 
uh, more sooner than later as this is a, uh, a uh, Raymond uh, 21 Jewel pocket watch. But it's running really well now. I think the swing on the thing is around 360 plus, and that's without cleaning the movement. So I did this for, for a gentleman online. He just wanted me to stake a balance onto a new staff. So it became a, a complete adventure. Um, so I'm going to leave it up to him to, to find that jewel and, and, and replace that and very carefully remove the balance out. And it's running right now. I think I will probably deliver it back to him with the balance intact. Hopefully it'll get in there in the mail unless he wants me to, to remove the balance and the balance spring and he can reassemble it and, uh, and uh, hopefully it'll work for him again. So anyway, the job's done. Um, it works really well right now. Uh, so I'm pretty pleased with that, which means uh, the balance staff that I cut on my lathe was uh, perfect, running really well. And I remember doing a test, uh, an air puff test where I put the balance on with the balance staff um, and I put it under the I put the balance cock back on top, and it didn't have the hairspring or roller tables or anything. And I just blew a little air on it, and it spun like crazy, which means the pivots were right. So the bottom pivot and top pivot were around 0.11 millimeters, which is a pretty small. So I managed to get them down to the right size and, and in the conic shape that they're that's required. So so it worked out really well. Uh, at the end of the day, I just thought I'd show you this uh, watch as an update. Um, and show you that this worked um, and the balance is pretty true I'm looking at it sideways and you know it's 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 got very little movement from side to side so the truing of the balance worked really well so so uh, that's it that's a just a quick update I'll call this uh, part five or part six whatever it is and I'll put it on YouTube so you can have a look at it um, this is proof that it works though because I didn't want you guys to think that I made the balance and did all that work and it didn't actually work so I got it all working so there you go thanks a lot and um, there we go it's an adventure of the ages